take for this heavyweight fight is brought to you by Dodge, the official vehicle of the UFC. The Super Samoan, eight years the elder of Rothwell, who is much larger, just a little heavier, and will have a six-inch reach advantage. With the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a striker, holding a professional record, six wins, seven losses. Standing five feet, 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 261 pounds. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Mark Super Samoan Hunt. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 31 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 263 pounds. Fighting out of Kenosha, Wisconsin, Ben Rothwell. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Adam Martinez. Adam Martinez, our referee. The lovely Shondella, Ariani. UFC 135, main event still ahead. Jones and Rampage, now it's time for the heavyweights again. Rothwell Fire Fire and Hunt. Let's go to work. And here we go. Tonight's clock brought to you by Gears of War 3, available now only on Xbox 360. White trunks for the Super Samoan. Big Ben in the red and black trunks. Now the question would simply be for Ben Rothwell, why strike with Mark Hunt when you know that is that is so overwhelmingly his superior skill set. And the AC right away, he shoots. Yep. And Samoan, Super Samoan gets out of the way. And Mark Hunt, uh, one of the things that Duke Rufus was worried about in this fight is Mark showing one speed and then switching up very quickly, lulling him into a false sense of security, giving him one, one distance and then changing it very quickly. And that's something that Mark is very good at. He's very good at switching his tempo and lulling guys into his arsenal. Light heavyweight title on the line tonight on Saturday, October 8th from Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Bud Light presents UFC 136. Edgar and Maynard for the lightweight championship. Aldo and Florian for the featherweight title. Live on pay-per-view. Nine in the East, six in the West. Check your listings internationally. Long jab by Big Ben Rothwell. And so far, Mark is sticking to punches to try to keep this fight on the feet. He hasn't thrown any of his leg kicks yet. But you look at the size of Mark Hunt's legs. might have the biggest legs in, in yeah. history. They're ridiculous. I mean, he's 5'10", 265 pounds, and 240 pounds of it is in his legs. Absolutely. I mean, he's just got devastating power in those leg kicks as well. 120 in the left, 120 in the right. I hope I did that properly. And Hunt is wisely circling away. Not there, though, and he, he almost got clipped. Right hand. He, yep. caught him back he was circling away, there. and he caught him, though. Came back towards the power of Rockwell. There's the nice. takedown he won. Very nice takedown by Ben Rockwell. And right into the, the full mount. mount. Very quickly. And this is terrible for Mark yep, Hunt. He got an underhook, though. Nicely done, but now knee on chest. Belly. This is Ben Rothwell's world. Mark Hunt is using that underhook, though. The underhook on the left side is very important. If he can keep that underhook on his left side, he can get back up to his feet. Ben Rothwell, 29 years old, he has 31 career wins, Joe. Ben is stopping that with his left, or excuse me, his right leg. With his right leg pinned down on the ground, it, it allows him to hold Mark Hunt into that position and not allow Mark Hunt to get his right knee under him. Look at He's that, up. Mark explodes up. Nice Very job. nicely done by Mark Hunt. The Super Samoan back up. Let's see if Rothwell looks for another takedown opportunity immediately. But at least Rothwell got that one takedown, knows he can get it. And he got it with an explosive shot. And he tried again. Stuffed this time. Good sprawl by Mark Hunt. And he did it right up against the fence, too. He was just a little bit of space he had to avoid being taken down. And again, he's both hard. legs. Good hips by Hunt. Well, that has been his number one problem is the grappling game. But you see him here with a textbook takedown defense here, but Rothwell's getting that single. He's almost got him down. Hunt struggling. Very nicely done by Mark Hunt. A little bit of blood coming out of his left side of his forehead. Oh, nice lead. 90 seconds remain 
here in the first round. Nice right hand over the top. Hunt connected there. Hunt has been training in Fort Lauderdale for about a month. I like how he missed that punch and wound up connecting with an elbow. Now he's on top. He's on top and sliding right into side control. Very nicely done by Mark Hunt. And he trains an American top team. The right underhook is allowing him to get back up. You see that? That's what fighters look for. When you see a guy on the ground, wherever his knees are, wherever he's trying to get up, look for an underhook on that side, and that's going to allow him to stand back up. He said quite clearly, he goes into the octagon to knock the other bloke out. Oh! But he's taken down. Right back up, though. Look at the eye of Rothwell. Yeah, it's, it's bloodied up, and that's from the elbow of Mark Hunt. Heavy punch by Rothwell here. They're going at it here in the first round, Joe. This is exhausting, Mike. These two big guys like this. Both of them 260-plus pounds. Yeah. Over 500 pounds of mixed martial artists battling here a mile high in Denver. Elbows by Mr. Rothwell here. And he's pinned down Mark Hunt's left arm. He's trying to pin it down, see how he's doing that there? Oh, nice elbow again. 10 seconds now. Excellent end of the round here for Ben Rothwell. I'll tell you what, Mike, one of the things that's impressive is Ben Rothwell's conditioning. This is a real tough pace at altitude, and he looks very good. Good round. You won that one. Breathe. You're good, son. You're good. Breathe for me. And there we see Ducks right under the punch. Gets that takedown. And there's the elbow that cut him in the forehead. And now we see Mark Hunt. Look at that. He knew he was going to miss the punch, but changed in mid-flight and turned it into an elbow. Shows his versatility. He got on top. He got side control and did a bit of damage. Of his own. Then, every time you cross body, mm. you underhook that arm. Get the underhook. Establish the underhook position. Don't arm. rush to the submission, okay? Ride that weight. Right get now. the jab going. He's going to come out big with the right hand again. Okay? Use the clinch, too. Just time up on the cage, okay? Then, same Duke game. Rufus. Then, same his game. Rufus hey, sport Mark, team is Mark, heart. turning he's out heart. to be one of the heart. most heart. dominant teams in mixed Mark, martial arts today. And he's just right he's right done it slowly. He's done it the right way. Of course, Duke Rufus, former... K1 champion and a standout who really has embraced the MMA game and training young fighters. As Rothwell is putting on display tonight. Going to look for the big right again, Duke Rufus said of Mark Hunt. And there's a lead left hook. Not quite moving around like he did at the start of the fight. Stuffed very easily. A pretty good gash on that right eye. Big uppercut by Big Ben. And he's looking for, and, and Hunt was looking for a big opening there as well. He's taking some big deep breaths, Mike. There's that leg kick. Heavy, heavy leg kick that buckles the knee. Yeah, that was his first one. And it was devastating. And Hunt throws more of those. It will help him set up all his other shots. But he's got to worry about being taken down when he does that. Hunt's looking for his openings here. He's taking some big deep breaths, Mike, and considering this is the only... Oh, there it is again. Man, there's some power in those kicks. Those are some oak tree legs. Again they battle. Rothwell's pressing forward. Sliding past these punches. And he ducks under. He's trying to get the takedown. He's got his hands clasped together. No, he does not. He's trying to pull him apart. Wide stance, he gives up yeah. on it. Yeah. And look, the escapes. And he was able to get up before. Big swing and a big miss, out, but an uppercut, up, up, though. And, and now it's Hunt on top. The Super Samoan in top position again. And he's trying to move into side control. He's got to get past that knee. And, and he does. He's got a man, Joe and Rothwell, who's battling the altitude here in Denver. Yeah, but Rothwell did a real good job of getting it right back to guard. And it was all about that left knee. He couldn't get past that left knee. Trains his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Hicks and Gracie, black belt, Luis Claudio. I'll tell you what, when a guy's got the kind of power that Mark Hunt does, that kind of perfect technique, he can generate tremendous power from real short distances. His ground and pound is devastating. 
and he can do it from inside of his guard. Ben Rothwell's trying to set up an arm bar, Mike. He's got a left butterfly hook, and the right arm, or the, excuse me, the, the right leg is going over the top. If he can get his left leg free, I believe he was thinking about attacking the right arm. Right now, he's just holding on. He's exhausted. Midway point of this fight, he certainly oh, is. There's a big shot. That's a big Super Samoan on top of him, too. And again, when you see the, the kind of power that he can generate just from real short distances, it's very deceptive. All right, now full guard by Rothwell. Now let's see what kind of offensive guard Ben has. We saw Sean McCorkle tap Mark Hunt in his UFC debut with a Kimura. But, you know, that was early in the fight, and Ben Rothwell exhausted him. He's eating some elbows. You hear Duke Rufus, come on, Ben, fight through it here. Okay, now he's got, now he's got his left arm trapped across his face, and he's pounding on him here. Mark Hunt should just pull out of this fight. This is, this, there's no, there's no reason to stay here and risk getting armbar. Just get out of there. Oh, right but look at this. Right, right to side, side control. And elbows. This position, he is happy to stay in. Duke Rufus is screaming for Ben Rothwell to get up and get back in with it, but I just think he's exhausted, Mike. He's not doing anything. He's got to explode. This is do or die right now for Rothwell. He's got to get out of this position. And Hunt looks in very good condition. Look at that, knee to the belly. belly. Could be the end right here. And that's like four normal knees. <laughs> <laughs> Big scramble, Hunt winds up on top. Hunt has absolutely improved in his grappling, Mike. American top team will do that for you. Yeah, he's doing a great job here of controlling Ben and, and forcing him to eat those uppercuts. Ben's gonna try to trap that right arm and roll under. He's trained at ATT for a long time, went out a month early. Oh, 30-hour flight from Australia to Fort Lauderdale. 30 seconds. Full mounts, look at this. Here on the clock, second round. Look at this. Looking to finish Big Ben Rothwell. He's on top of him. He's going to take an arm. He's going to take that left arm. Grab it. It's right there. Underhook with the left. Step there over. He goes. Oh, look at this, Mark Hunt. Can he He's submit? Going for an arm bar. Big Ben Rothwell. He's got to pry that hand loose. Ten seconds He's on the clock. He's got to dig under. Yes, yes, yes. He's got to dig get under it? and extend. Final seconds He's of the round. Right leg across the face. He's got to get his right leg across the face, not under the chin like that. And Rothwell survives. Wow. Just barely. And Rothwell is absolutely drained. Come on, come on. Duke Rufus just on, ran on, over go. to him and picked him up. Look at this. It, what he needed to do, Mike, was put his right leg across the face, not have it under the armpit of the right arm of Ben Rothwell like that, although you can finish him like that if you're elite. But he needed to learn how to, how to separate those arms better. He landed some hammer fist though, but Ben Rothwell was just hanging on for dear life. And look at this, this is the end of the round. Duke Rufus runs across the cage and carries him. And Rothwell plops down. He needed assistance to walk. One, two, fucking clinch, hit that takedown. Come on, this is what we dig deep. Let's go, breathe. Come on, you can do this, let's go. This is where it gets really dangerous, on, Mike, because yeah, this round go, starts go. standing. This go, round starts standing, it. and Mark Hunt is chomping at the bit. He's already in the center of the cage. He got pushed back by the referee. He smells blood. He smells blood, and Ben Rothwell can't even stand up. The referee's coming over to talk to him, yeah, asking him, him if he's chance. okay. You ready? You ready? Last round. Third and final hard. round. Big Ben is gassed. He's gassed, but he's a warrior, and he's gonna come swinging. If he goes out, it's gonna be on his shield. Uh-oh. Oh, huge, heavy uppercut by the K-1 star. Sprawl, and that takes a lot uh -oh. of energy, and he ate a right hand. He's in trouble, he's in trouble. Hunt looking for the finish here. He's totally chicken-legged here. Chance Mark pushes him up. Oh, spinning elbow. Shown by Ben Rothwell to try to survive. Big Ben now. So hard to control him when you're exhausted. And he's on top in full guard. And Ben holding on here for dear life. He is just so exhausted, Mike. 
Rothwell with a good round one. Hunt with a dominant second round. If I was Mark Hunt, I would get out of this. Well, you know, why, why be on top of him? Why give him a chance to recover? Why give him a chance to hang on when he's almost, almost defenseless standing? I mean, he can land some good shots here, but I'm sure Mark Hunt is tired too. But in my opinion, the, the right strategy is to get out of this. Stand up. Get out of this guard. Yeah, look at the big hairy press by Hunt now too, though, Joe. Yeah, but you know what? He's on top at least. He's right. forcing. Yeah, there you stand him. He came out looking to finish this fight. Hunt's exhausted too. This is going to get very interesting. But look how wobbly Ben Rothwell is. Charging forward like a zombie with blood flying out of his face. But now you can see visibly that Mark Hunt starting to wear down as well. Yeah, but Mark Hunt's still capable of exploding, and I don't think Ben Rothwell is anymore. See, look how ponderous his takedown attempts are. I mean, he is zombie-like, the way he's moving forward. I believe Hunt still has enough gas to explode. There's a nice uppercut by Hunt. He may look for another walk-away knockout here. Hips. He yeah, escapes. He Back through. up to his feet. Escapes again. He's Not on top. Good. Both guys are exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. A battle of two men who both weigh near the UFC heavyweight limit of 265. Hunt should consider knees to the body from this position. If he's got the energy, right? Oh, huge right hand. And look at him walk yeah, away. There's the one. He's looking for the walk away knockout again. He clipped him with an uppercut. Rufus telling Rothwell to finish this takedown. Wow, Hunt's trying to push him down. If Rothwell were to be able to pull something off here in the third, that would be some this is story. Inc it's incredible how tired Ben Rothwell is. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen a guy this tired in the octagon before. That is one big super Samoan. He's been battling now for 13 minutes. Mark Hunt can stop this fight. If he can muster up enough energy to can continuously punch Ben Rothwell in the face, he can stop this fight. Because I don't think Ben is capable of defending himself. Mark's going to pin down the right hand, and this could be it. This could be it right here. He got it free, the left arm. Keep working, Mark. I'm going to reset it. Adam Martinez telling him to keep working, or they'll stand it again. You can't stand a guy up from side control like this. That's ridiculous. Oh, hammer big fist. Big hammer fist. And again. In my opinion, you should never stand a guy up from a dominant position. And that's what this is. He worked hard to get here, and he's working. How about some knees to the body here by Mr. Yeah. Hunt? And ben Rothwell trying to get his legs in a position to move the full guard, but this is like everything's going in slow motion. 70 seconds on the clock. What is that, referee? You don't stand a guy up from a dominant position. That's just stupid. The guys are tired. They're trying. The corner of Mark Hunt saying one minute, one minute remains in this fight. Uppercut, uppercut again. What a great show of guts and courage by Big Ben. This is absolutely exhausted. This is incredible. Oh. Hands on the knee. Head Big kick. kick. The crowd senses the finish. And again, Mark Hunt tries to take Rothwell down, but Rothwell sprawls and Not winds a up bad on top. spot. Not a bad spot, Joe. Does he have the energy to do anything, though? He's looking for a submission. Does Rothwell have the energy? Can he crank on the neck and pull this fight out? It would be an amazing victory. 15 seconds. I don't think he has the arm strength. He's spinning to the back. 10 seconds. Full mount. Final seconds of this fight. Samoa's in half guard. Oh. And they go the distance. What a fight. Wow. Just did not have, as Joe said, the arm strength to lock in that choke and there's seconds remaining right. in this battle. Ricardo oh, Laborio had to go and Way pick up Mark Hunt. He's absolutely like exhausted as well. Fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a broken nose. And there's a right on the jaw, and Rothwell was already exhausted at this point, and Mark Hunt was sort of convinced that he was going to be able to stop him with that punch, but Rothwell just ate it and pressed forward. And here, 
Hunt had a chance. He was inside control, was dropping bombs on him, but neither guy had the energy. That was a grueling, grueling fight. Ice pack. Don't worry about it. It's all right. You fought your nuts off. You didn't fucking get stopped. That was pretty hard. Thanks. It's all right. No shame in your game. There you go. Breathe. That's the way you're supposed to fight. That's your job. You fight. You fought your nuts off. Duke Roof is talking to Ben Rothwell. Showed a lot of courage in going the distance when he was clearly exhausted. As is the man he just battled for 15 minutes. The Super Samoan Mark Hunt. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score this contest 29-28. 29 27 and 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision mark super samoa second straight for hunt here's joe all right i'm here with the winner mark hunt mark that was one of the most grueling heavyweight fights I've seen in a long time. You hit that guy with some tremendous shots. Were you surprised that he was still there at the end? Yeah. Look, I knew he was tough. Uh, can I just say, uh, I want to thank my heavenly father for giving me the strength to be here. And to my wife and my kids, Australia, New Zealand, I love you guys so much. One of the things you showed, Mark, in this fight is you improved grappling. You, you, you had some great takedown defense. You got on top of him a few times. Is that something you've really been concentrating on and well round, rounding off your game? Thanks to uh, the Wolf Slayer guys, all the lads at uh, Wolf Slayer, Muscle Farm, and um, Master Labore from ATT. What's up, ATT? Listen, I know you're tired. Congratulations. A big victory Thank for you. you so Can't wait to see you again. Mark Hunt, ladies and gentlemen. The Super Samoan, Mark Hunt, earns another UFC victory here tonight in front of a sold-out crowd.